Hello, my people. We are on another convention day. Yes, today we are at Caltown Comics, and of course, I am sporting my Psycho Pass shirt, courtesy of William Russell. We're going to see him today, Sabine Rich, Ariel Diaz, Lauren Wright. All the crew from Charter Comics is going to be there, so like Lauren Gibson, uh, Lacey Kruger, um, hopefully Richard Dupree will be here too. But, and we've got a ton and ton of stuff to go get signed and go see everybody. But I want to get you guys some shots, show you guys around, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, all right, all right. Cool. All right, folks, we are at Caltown Comic Convention today. We are seeing all the good people that's here. Today, our esteemed guest, of course, is the Miss Sabine Rich here. Um, we've got a lot. We've also got Ron Leary and Peter Smith, Mustafa. You know, we've got a lot of good folks here today. Um, and it, it's a fun convention, guys. If you guys like comics, you like things, this is how this is how you do it. You know, you get in here and you see all this stuff. You got my boy William Russell. You know, he's out here doing his thing. Ken Salinas, from Charter. We got. Jason Turner. So, Jason doing good things. Our friend Lacey Krueger. She's always, always having fun. I uh, got Fred Keel. You know, we just have a lot of good folks here today. And there's a lot of, you know, the thing that's different about Cowtown is you also have book artists like T.B. Phillips here who does stuff. Like, he actually did the Ferryman book with Chris and McLean. And then you've also got Darkland series, Cole Hayes, um, The Thorn. But the biggest thing, folks, is that you get to see new things that you might not have seen, because this is independent rent. So the independent side of the house is a lot different than the big two. I mean, we have people that do big two books, you know, but the difference is being is that they're just doing it because they like to, they have fun. Um, so you've got Immortalis, not seen that before. Then we've got the illustrious Lauren Wright. So we've got a lot going on, folks. So let's just take a look around. All right. And this is exactly how it is. Comics, comics, and more comics. And so this is why comic conventions were originally started right it was before the celebrities before all the can't find a, a ticket in San Diego anymore but that's kind of how the fun part was is going through the boxes digging seeing what you could find um, seeing new artists seeing artwork you know that was the catch 22 uh, you know a big thank Thank you, of course, to Mr. Chris Hayes and McLean McGuire from Charter Comics and Pastime Comics as well, you know, because they host this every year. So, it was it's always a good time. You can see other things here as well. So, like, you got new comics, you know, woodwork, you know, you got slabs, you've got all kinds of stuff. And yeah, of course, Pastime's going to be here. Say hi, Ken, to the video. Well, we have, Oh, yeah. Why are y'all on that side? Well, yeah. What are we going to do? We're going to show everybody the stuff. No, I'm saying, why are they on that side? Well, because we ain't Watch live it. yet. Watch them. Not we, here. Oh. We're not live yet. <laughs> okay. And I'll be like, where y'all at? Exactly, right? <laughs> uh, why are you watching them? Yeah. Well, and that's a good point because you know what? They in the wrong place, right? right? They at the state park. They at the state fair instead of being here. Get on the other side of the screen. Exactly. All right. And you guys got one more day to get your butt here. One more day. One more day. All right, kid. Okay. All right. You got Charter Comics. So let's take a look, see around. All right. Hey, everybody. Our great volunteers from Charter Comics. All right, we got Mr. Lauren. So, okay. she does phenomenal work. 
Oh, Jesus, she does. We got Mr. Corey Smith. What's up, Corey? And we got LC. This is our boy, Richard Dupree, missing in action. Miss Lori Caparetta, if you guys remember, she was on our show the other day. Um, so, it's been fun. It's been a fun convention. You got Chad Harden, and there are some great folks just to sit down and talk to, you know. My boy Johnny Day, he does all these old books that I like to see, you know. Now, we did get some things, but we didn't get a whole lot. But what we got was important for us because we're not going to find it again. Like, look at that Lady Death box. Like, I want to buy just a box. Heck yeah. Look at this. All right. So, yeah. We've got all kinds of goodies here, folks. Let it come through here a little bit. Take a look. Yeah, I mean, you've got some your anime stuff, you know. But it's not like everywhere else. You know, you got Mr. John Davies over here. You know? And that's what I like about conventions like this. Like, you don't see artwork like this on books hardly at all. It'll be back. Oh, that's all right. Still shopping around. Always, man. Always. Gotta find good stuff. All right. So, yeah, folks. This has been... Cowtown Comics. Now, these aisles here are similar. You know, they're all going to be the normal. You know, you've got to toys and, you know, some comic stuff. But, you know, there's always the pops. There's always somebody with pops. And then you got people like Mike. Say hi to the camera, Mike. <laughs> all right. And so, that is why I enjoy this convention. And like, look at the wall of prints. You know, I enjoy that. I enjoy seeing that. All right. And then we've got all the people. So they're doing a cosplay costume right now. Let's see who's gonna be the winner, you know? And they got some. They got some good folks. You know, it isn't. This isn't Fan Expo, folks. This ain't Fan Festival. This ain't San Diego, of course. So, but we do have some good voice actors as well, and cosplay artists. So, and then look at all the little mini figures. It is awesome. All right, we got some more here. Like, I really like this artwork. That is freaking awesome. And then, you've got, um, Danny Chambers, Bruce Elliott, who played freaking Ginyu. Come on now. He played Ginyu. Then you got Lisa Brahma, you know, who, as far as I'm concerned, she did pan. That's all I need to know. And then of course, you've got Mr. Scott Inez, who did like every freaking voice in the world. So yeah, that is awesome. So yeah, folks, this was Cowtown Comic Convention. It was a fun time. We enjoyed ourselves. And we'll show you guys what we got. So, a big, big thank you. Like I said, to Chris Hayes, McLean, everybody at Pastime Comics, everybody that's in, with Charter Comics, thank y'all. Y'all made this an amazing convention. Later. Hello, my people. It is your Renner from Texas, Nate. And guess what? We went to an awesome comic convention called Caltown Comic Con. Um, it is hosted, of course, by Pastime Comics as well as Charter Comics. Owned, of course, and were run by the good Mr. Chris Hayes and McLean McGuire. Thank you guys for an awesome, amazing time with all the good people there. You know, we had 
Lauren Wright. We had Ariel Diaz. We had William Russell. Ken Salinas. Lori Calcterera. Um, Rick DeRee was there, you know. Jack Speedy was there. You know, Mustafa Musa was there. Uh, Ron Leary. So there was a lot of great people there, and it was a fun convention. Because it's about comics and just being out and talking to people. And it was a great time. Um, and I got some stuff. Um, I didn't buy a whole lot, but I went there for signatures mostly for everybody. Um, and then, of course, had to get some artwork. Because you know why? Saving Rich was there too. So not going to lose that time and that one chance for a long time to get to see her. Because it's been forever since I've seen her. Um, to get some cool artwork from her and just to catch up sometime. And we also gave her a coin too from Coffin. So hey, you know, that's the kind of the catch too. It's like we want to make sure she's taken care of before she goes to Sornfest. All right, let's show you kind of what we got. All right, so let's start out with. Yeah, we'll go with this one first. The William Russell pile of goodies is what we'll call it. So we had William sign every book that wasn't signed that he had. Creature from the Pooh Lagoon. Uh, we just got in Fairy Tale Fairyman Tales, Valhalla. So I had him sign his cover. Um, I have a foil version of this, but it came in uh, damaged. So Chris is trying to fix that for me. He didn't try to fix it for me at the convention, but we realized it's a run that's damaged. So uh, we also had Psycho Sal, number three, from the Kickstarter. Of course, William always does his own comic uh, Cowtown exclusive. So we had this one. All right. And then we got lucky because William was there. Hence, and this is William Short too, Psychopath for Psycho Sal. Um, and so Miko Soan was there. So we got Miko to sign the metal cover, the Virgin, black and white and red, and then the trade dress. So. Had to get it signed. Got like I said, got William and Miko to sign those. I picked this is one of the ones I did buy, the Vampirella cover. That's one I didn't have. Um, and then the Nut Brigade. So the Nut Brigade is a fun comic that Chris and his guys from Charter put out. This is William's cover, so had to snatch that one. Uh, we just got these in. Prior to the convention, and that was Orphan Bloodline from Rick Dury. Rick already signed them. He signed them on the inside cover. So this is number one. Um, and then this is the number two, which is what got me into Orphan Bloodline. And this is the William cover. So I joined the Kickstarter for this one. Uh, picked up this Hardly Thin. This was a Gabe's uh, Cave exclusive out of... 12 out of 30 for the trade dress. And then last but not least from William, I also got in, if I get out the box, oh, there it goes, is Path of the Pale Rider, number three. This is, you know, Lori's book, so I had Lori sign it, and then William signed it too, which was awesome. Because I just got one and two not too long ago. And talking about Lori, we also got the path. Choose your own. Choose your own path. It's kind of like a mystery adventure game. So those are always fun, too. And then she gave me a keychain. I always like those. All right. As I said, Lauren was there. So I got Lauren to sign on her book, Pray from the Center. So we got that one. Um, I do have some artwork from her on the way, so I'll put a picture right around here somewhere. Um, and that's we got from her. We're just waiting for it to come in because it was timing, like it wasn't done by the time I already leave and things like that. And I told her, "Don't worry about it. It'll get there when it gets there." Okay. All right. And then we got these from Clan McDonald, um, the Ariel Diaz Emma Frost, but I just had her sign this one. I like versions better signed. 
Yeah, like I said, talking about Fairyman Tales, we got Fairyman Tales Valhalla. This one is the Kinsalinus cover, so we got that one signed. And then uh, we picked this up, if you guys remember, a while back from Rob Brewster. Um, and I said, all right, got to get this one signed by Chris. Because there's, there's Chris's mugshot, McLean. So I grabbed them while I was at Caltown. They signed it for me. Okay, this is a project that I've been working on for a while. And this is the Artist Elite books. So Mr. Chad Harden and Mustafa was there. So I had them both sign both both editions. So the only one left now is really um, Sora. So I just got to get Sora to sign it. And then I'm pretty much done. And then talking about Chad, I sat there and ch talked to Chad for a while because I haven't seen him in forever. Um, I had him sign his Death Watch. Part one and part two from Artist Elite three and six. And then uh, last but not certainly least, we got some stuff from Sabine, of course, done. We got her theory of magic. This is of course from Rothic. Ancient Dreams number one, where she was a colorist for the cover. This is also signed by Don and JP. Okay, and then picked up how to bring some old schools. We got Hellwitch, the regular and naughty. Got her to sign both of those. And she is such a nice person too. So if you get a chance, just take a minute to spend some time and say hello. Uh, we got the naughty edition of Extinction Express. So this one's signed by her and by Brian. And then got some old school ones. Oh, oh, yeah. Did I just dent it? Nope, I'm good. Whew, thought I dented that one. Chaos Rules from Dawn. And then her, her Fiend Fest Jeweled Edition. These are both Jeweled Edition too. So, so glad to have these signed by her. But last but not least, we got our Lady Death sketch from her. So, again, thank you so much to Chris McLean and everybody at Charter and um, Pastime for making this happen. It was good to meet up with everybody. Again, like I said, great seeing you again. Sabine, William, Lori, Ariel, Rick, um, Zach, Ken. You know, pretty much all the charter was there almost. Um, so it was nice to catch up with everybody. And if you get a chance, come out next year. It's going to be an amazing time. They always do a great show. And I highly recommend it. So this has been your Redacting Texas Nate. This has been Cowtown Comic Convention 2023. You guys take it easy. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. All right, all right, all right.